here to answer your questions and here's one that I've been hearing for years. Why don't you show me some good stuff on the news? Well, I've got an answer for you. How about every night we celebrate the people who make this town great? We'll shout them out by area code. And tonight we're going to go to 703 and that's where you're going to find Tom Moorhead, the first African-American in the entire country to be awarded a Rolls Royce dealership. And that's just the beginning. Tom Moorhead has a big heart and he's never forgotten how he got his start. This is the McLaren, okay, which is a six-year-old brand, but everybody know about McLaren from the standpoint of racing. I first met Thomas Moorhead in one of the showrooms of his luxury car empire in Sterling, Virginia, just outside of Washington. What's the retail price on this? <laughs> and don't tell me if you got to ask if you can't afford it. No, 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 but you're looking at pretty close to $300,000. $300,000. Would you believe that his first personal car had been a $35 Plymouth from a junkyard in his hometown of Monroe, Louisiana? You should get in and try this. Okay, Tom, how much car do I have under me here? What's this worth? <laughs> Actually, this car is worth uh, about $380,000. product of a single mom graduated from Grambling University. Tom Moorhead was but two courses from completing a PhD at the University of Michigan when a fraternity brother introduced him to the car business. He agreed to start at the and bottom. I wrote service for seven and a half months. I finished service and he put me in parts. I walked in the parts department and the lady that was running the parts department gave me a rag and told me to go dust the shelves. Upbringing, mother, father, siblings? Yeah, well, yes, have uh, two brothers and two sisters, mm -hmm. okay? Um, mother who did everything she could to put me where I am today. You didn't know your father? No, I didn't. I didn't know my father. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even learn his name until after he was gone. But that's okay. I mean, that's his loss, not mine. Right, okay. right. But we, hey, we're fine. And I hope that whoever he was, he's looking down and... He's proud of where we are today. He says with all his wealth comes a lot of responsibility of giving back. We have decided as a group to give one of your members a car. In one program, his company donates vehicles to nonprofits and single heads of families at local churches. Take a look. What we've decided to do is to give the car to a single mother. Marilyn Lacey. <laughs> I promised Mr. Bradley, the guy who got you started in this business, I said to him, Mr. B, tell me, how do I ever repay you for what you've done? He said, young man, the way you repay me, I want you to reach back and grab another young man or young lady and bring them along. That's how you repay me. And what that is, is that you'll be paying that black tax. That's part of your black tax, okay, that you have to pay. I've never forgotten that. And that's what I'm always trying to pay forward. It's Tom Moorhead. He and his wife, Joyce, have started a foundation where they have kids, students, families, nonprofits. Just a great man.